Hello everyone this is Ashish welcome back to Talk 4712 today we are going to discuss how to study maths aptitude and english these three subjects are probably the most neglected subjects by gate aspirants and the reason why this is so neglected is probably because proper guidance is not available about how to study but if you just go on the basis of numbers you're going to find out that 30% of the examination marks is consisting of these three subjects i'm talking about gate examination while on other hand other examinations let us say cil examination other psu examination engineering services prelims examination will also be having some share of these three subjects so studying these subjects are very important but the problem is that you do not know how to study another problem would be that you do not know how much time to allocate and how to properly manage this with your technical preparation other subjects of your technical stream so i'm going to be discussing both of these topics over here covering all of those for all the three subjects so let us get into it one by one first let us start with aptitude now aptitude for gate examination or psu examination you have to understand that there are certain kind of concepts that you have to understand okay this kind of question will be solved like this now i have to increase the practice to increase the speed at it for example dice questions time distance work questions pipe system questions uh probability questions these are the questions you will have to understand how to solve for that you will require some resource you will have to go chapter by chapter you will find out that there are 10 to 12 different chapters from which questions are coming up every year and you'll have to learn how to solve these questions yes aptitude is basically checking the intellect of the mind and you can do that from the basic mathematics of like 10th standard or 12th standard itself but a lot of you guys have forgotten those basic things so you're not in touch with that and that is why now you have to get back in touch with that and also increase the speed now you might be thinking that which book i should be following there are various books i'm not going to take any name because they are all good they are all at the same level all are going to pick these topics give you few examples i'm going to list them all down in the description box you pick whichever one you think is good but the idea is that you have to go from chapter to chapter just like in strength of material you will go from first sfd bmd to pressure vessel to columns in a similar manner you have to go from one chapter to another chapter to another chapter in aptitude as well now i'm also going to be discussing how to divide the time in later phases of this video after i've discussed how to study your mathematics and english as well so let us get first into mathematics now mathematics again is applicable in a lot of technical part of your subjects as well but mathematics over here which is called basically engineering mathematics you have to focus time in that in a strategic manner as well now there's a thick book called bs garewal it is like a standard book in all the colleges it will be available in your library you can read that in the worst case scenario if you are not able to understand a particular concept so when you are preparing for a competitive examination and especially when you are in like one year be behind the examination or six months before the examination you almost have to always go for reverse engineering so first find out what is this exam all about find out what questions are asked in that examination and then find out how am i going to be able to solve these particular questions so this thick book of mathematics will not really help even if you go from page to page because the kind of question asked in gate examination will be much more important so there are a lot of coaching institutes who have made compilation of all the mathematics questions asked in gate examination and by all i do not mean all the questions asked in your stream all the questions asked in all the stream so the good thing about aptitude and mathematics and also english would be that it is common in all the streams apart from mathematics the other two is even common in the science streams so you can have an array of examples of what kind of questions are asked which means that you have a wider range of questions to solve which will help you increase your practice so solve the mathematics questions of all the branches not only of your branch there will be certain branches where you'll be finding mathematics questions are much difficult for example cse and ec questions of mathematics will be much more difficult than mechanical but if you are ready for that level even if you are from mechanical it will be always much more advantageous and 
we have already talked about how it gives you more practice as well now in maths just like in aptitude we have discussed there will be various chapters from which questions will be coming for example linear algebra probability again over here and there will be other chapters like calculus differential equation numerical analysis and other chapters you have to go from chapter to chapter and solve a lot of questions connected to those chapters so understand the concept get a lot of practice get an idea of what kind of questions are asked and you'll be good to go like i said that i'll be discussing how you should be dividing the time pretty soon now let us get into the english part now english is a different kind of problem to be solved for kt examination unlike maths and aptitude it won't be divided like chapter by chapter okay study this uh, study this if you look at the questions asked in gate examination from english you'll be finding like appropriate word to be filled over here the meaning of a word you'll have to understand that as well and grammar sometimes that is asked as well so you'll have to understand the different kind of questions asked in English and a lot of people will be saying that you can't really study English for gate examination and I will be partially agreeing with those people but certainly do not do this that open Renan Martin and start studying grammar for that that will not help you certainly what you can do and this is something that has to be done in a long term about maths and aptitude i'll tell you how to divide time but about english i'll be telling you how to divide time right now now you have to invest every day in learning new words in english now that will certainly save one to two question that means one to three marks in your gate examination now there are various apps again i'm going to link it down in the description box which are the apps that will be helping you just increase your vocabulary one example would be magush so all you have to do is play these games that will increase your vocabulary that what words means what so you have to just go through that every morning somewhere around 10 to 20 minutes you just play these games and your target should be every day i'm learning 5 to 10 different words so if you're doing it over the span of six months let us say so let us say 10 words every day that means somewhere around um 2000 words you will be learning before your preparation that is good that is very decent especially for gate examination so other ways would be like there's a book called word power made easy and that will be much more difficult for you to just read that book and not suggested for this gate examination that level of vocabulary you can't really gamble that much time for just three to four marks in gate examination so extremely sorry so what you have to do is just play it safe invest certain amount of time just play the game you do not have to invest like strategic two hours towards english that won't be possible and a lot of coaching institute also there are classes going on they'll be teaching about a lot of things over here they'll be talking about grammar they'll be talking about comprehension but none of that actually works i can i can say this because i've attended those classes as well and it did not help me much and ultimately on the day of the gate examination you will not be finding a lot of help because of those classes so ultimately the only thing that you can work on in english is the vocabulary part and that you can do easily by picking up any game and just dedicating somewhere around 10 to 20 minutes every day at any point and just use it as a refreshment and your vocabulary will soon get filled up with a bunch of words Okay, now that we know about how to study for different subjects, let us talk about when to allocate time. About English, we have already discussed that you have to give some very small amount of time on a daily basis. But math and aptitude is an important one and also more important than that, when to start preparing for math and aptitude. So math and aptitude preparation should ideally start by the end of August or somewhere around in September. So you need around three to four months of proper preparation for math and aptitude. But here, why maths and aptitude is very very different these are not that conceptual subject and these are not those physical subjects which you will be studying in your engineering or sciences so these subjects have to be studied differently ideally maths and aptitude should be given some amount of time on a daily basis or some huge amount of time on a weekly basis but you can't be studying this subject just like your technical subjects like i'm going to be studying this for one month straight and i'm going to be finishing that it will be much more difficult because for most people these subjects are not that fun there might be some exceptions but exceptions are not examples and thus we are going to talk in a generalized manner so i will be suggesting that either give one hour to two hour every day 
or take out somewhere around six to seven hours a week let us say saturday you're just investing on maths and aptitude now you can either do this that monday i'm going to be studying mathematics tuesday i'm going to be studying aptitude wednesday again mathematics or you can do this that on Sunday I'm going to be studying three hours mathematics, three hours aptitude. Like that it will also act like a break from your technical studies and it will be kind of relaxation. You can take something else also that I can take two days in a week and then two days mathematics, two days aptitude. Like that you can play with it. But the point being that you have to invest somewhere around six to eight hours every week towards these subjects as well. Mathematics in general will be taking more time as compared to aptitude because mathematics is more conceptual. And if you look at the weightage, it will also be carrying more marks. For example, somewhere around 15 marks from mathematics and aptitude will be only some Somewhere around 7 to 10 marks all right so it depends on the paper as well so mathematics will be taking more time it has a vast field also it is having more syllabus to cover more ground to cover more questions to cover so sometimes you might even spread it like one third of time going towards aptitude and two third of time going towards mathematics but this is the primary difference from all the other subjects that you cannot take a month out and finish these subjects and also these subjects are very much time based and it is about growing your aptitude especially when it comes to aptitude you have to grow your intellect like we talked in the beginning of the video itself so it takes certain time you can't be doing in bulk so give yourself time now let us get to the last phase where you'll be improving upon these the most maths english and aptitude this will be done the best in your full length test series where you'll be getting different questions from these subjects especially your aptitude and english part so test series plays a big role and those first part of your test series where you get those 10 questions of mathematics and english please pay high attention towards that a lot of time you will be getting questions from English and aptitude which you have never seen before but try to solve that as well because in a similar way you will be finding these questions or these kind of questions in gate examination as well. English, math, English and aptitude is notoriously known for being very unpredictable in gate examination sometimes it is very very easy sometimes it is very difficult so it completely depends what kind of paper you got. You have to be ready for all and what is the most problematic thing over here is that there is no defined syllabus so you'll have to practice as much as possible so what you have to do to summarize it all is number one get proper books for aptitude and mathematics cover it chapter by chapter just like you would cover any other technical subject but just like any other technical subject you do not have to do it in one go in one month give sufficient time and divide the time in a dispersed fashion you have to cover it in somewhere around three to four months it will also act as a recreation for you guys uh, outlet from the other technical preparation and when it comes to english i think that all you can work on is your vocabulary the other things that word filling part and all that will be helped by your test series english part itself and more than that i do not think that it is justified to invest time so that's about it guys i hope you found this video very very helpful if you did hit the like button share it with your friends so that they get the information as well and most importantly apply these things in your regular life do not do not neglect these three subjects because i've made it abundantly clear that this is very very important for your examination carries a huge percentage of marks so it will be kind of stupid to ignore it it's just that understand what time should be given to it and how the time should be divided and i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye all the links will be down in the description box bye